Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and 343 head honcho Bunny Ross has revealed more details about the mysterious Mirror Chief who first appeared in the announcement artwork when the upcoming Halo game got its official title of Halo 5 Guardians. According to Ross, the new character is called Agent Locke, and we'll have the opportunity to learn more about him and his origin story in the digital series that Ridley Scott is producing called Nightfall, which will launch with the newly announced Halo with the Master Chief collection on November 11th, with additional episodes coming later. And just to be extra clear, this digital series is completely different than the TV show that's being helmed by Steven Spielberg, which will come out about the same time that Halo 5 does. But in the immortal words of Douglas Adams, don't panic. Master Chief isn't taking a backseat to Locke by any means. Though Locke will be prominent in both, Master Chief will be the star of both the show and the new game. Obviously. To tide you over until Halo 5's 2015 release, the games in the Master Chief Collection will offer further hints of what's to come. Halo 2 Anniversary, for example, will offer hints at Halo 5 from the perspective of the Arbiter. And Ross says, The trailer you saw at E3 hinted at a new character and a mystery that's going on. The prologue and epilogue will bound that and tie you up and leave you on the doorstep of Halo 5. Ross also hints that the events of Halo 4 were a deliberate build-up to the franchise's move to the new generation of Xbox. She says, He is human, he's always been human, but at the end of Halo 4, he really is reflecting on who he is and why he exists. That was very deliberate because the story we want to tell on Xbox One really is an important part and the main part of his hero's journey. It's more about what he's searching for versus what the UNSC is asking him to do. More details about the TV series and how it will tie in with Halo 5 are expected at Comic-Con next month. In the meantime, Ross teases, It's a lot more seamless going from game to different experiences. One thing we'll talk more about at Comic-Con is what we can do with linear on Xbox One that we couldn't do on 360. Hmm, what do you think they're gonna do? Let us know what you think in the comments. To make sure you get all the big news in video games and entertainment, click like and subscribe and we'll keep you in the know and very sophisticated too.